away from the class and that's what you want. As an instruction, don't you just want to do this like this? Yeah, sure, well, I'll use this. I'm going to pass it on some flatware with a toothpick. Just shake this up, take one, so you can sample the food. I'm calling you in this state and I'm not going three times. Fitzgerald Kennedy was immediately nicknamed Jack. He was small and sickly, but even at a tender age, he elicited love, affection, and loyalty. When he was three, he nearly died of scarlet fever. The hospital nurses became so attached to him that after he was discharged, they felt compelled to visit him at home. Years later, Jack learned who the A. Kennedy was to come. You must think of him as this little boy, sick so much of the time, reading in bed. As a boy, a hero he had to live up to was his brother. He was so very close, they controversy. Jack was too big for his own age. And first, he was a big one. Finally, Mighty Mike O'Brien is vice president of the Now, this is the saga has been in the forest, modern American history. Rose Kennedy's role has been for the world this morning. For Australia, they have been for the world this morning. Which did seem to cut a guy in the back. I think, too, that it should be pointed out that, of course, it was not possible, particularly under the performance of Senator Kennedy was advocated, either to cut the national debt or to reduce the national debt. As a matter of fact, it will be necessary to raise the Thank you. 
This development, which I also support, incidentally, however, whenever you. Uh, but still, I mean. It means you have inflation, and that will be, of course, a very cruel blow to the very people. The president does to pass any bill when the president is opposed to it. All the president needs to sustain his veto of any bill is one third plus one in either the House or the Senate. Second, we passed a federal aid to education bill in the Senate. It failed to come to the floor of the House of Representatives. It was killed in the Rules Committee, and it is a fact in the August session. That the four members of the Rules Committee who were Republicans, joining with two Democrats, voted against sending the eight education bill to the floor of the House. Four Democrats voted for it. Every Republican on the Rules Committee voted against sending that bill to be considered by the members of the House of Representatives. Third, on medical care for the aged. This is the same fight that's been going on for 25 years in Social Security. We wanted to tie it to Social Security. We offered an amendment to do so. 44 Democrats voted for it. One Republican voted for it. And we were informed at the time it came to a vote that if it was adopted, the President of the United States would veto it. In my judgment, a vigorous Democratic President supported by a Democratic majority in the House and Senate, can win the support for these programs. But if you send a Republican president and a Democratic majority, and the threat of a veto hangs over the Congress, in my judgment, you will continue what happened in the August session, which is a clash of parties and inaction. This book was written to a P.L. Prattis. He was the first black journalist to sit in the halls of Congress as a, as a, a newsman. 
and uh, he wrote this to President Kent. He wrote this uh, book. He signed this book for Mr. Prattis. With best wishes and all your good work, John Kennedy, August 1958. Original edition. Yeah, original, original edition. 1958. On medical care for the aid. This is the same fight that's been going on for 25 years in Social Security. We wanted to tie it to Social Security. We offered an amendment to do so. 44 Democrats voted for it, one Republican voted for it. And we were informed at the time it came to a vote that if it was adopted, the President of the United States would veto it. In my judgment, a vigorous Democratic President, supported by a Democratic majority in the House and Senate, can win the support for these programs. But if you send a Republican president and a Democratic majority, and the threat of a veto hangs over the Congress, on police in my judgment, you will continue what happened with the August session, which is a clash of bodies and an action. Mr. Nixon, you can comment. Well, obviously, my views are a little different on that committee. It would seem to me, again, it's very difficult to blame the Republicans for the Democrats. Outside Markland, in terrible helplessness, people went veto power. Inside the hospital, doctors fight a battle just the third already lost. To Lyndon Johnson, he says, Mr. President, the president was not because the president was against him. It was 15 minutes later, less than 90 minutes after the shooting, Dallas police made an arrest. The suspect was Lee Harvey Oswald, a new employee of the Book Depository, with some curious facts in his background. Uh, Oswald's palm prints would be found on the gun. It would later be identified as one he had bought months before from a Chicago mail order company. Without any doubt, he's the killer, and the law says beyond a reasonable doubt to a moral certainty, which I have there's no question that he Kennedy on September 11th here in Tennessee State Fair. And here's a special part of the video here that you want to see about John F. Kennedy. In the year 1990, a new generation of Americans say that we too have fallen. In 1990, for example, this nation will need three times as much electric power as it has today. Four times as much water. That's why we developed the Canadian River. Water from soil. And building anti-pollution plants throughout the state and nation. And a new and expanded program. In 1990, 
the need for national and state parks and recreation areas will triple. 